Yeah, it was, I'm, you know, it's, it was a judgment call that I've actually been questioning a lot since that because I wasn't quite sure whether the better choice was to have shortened the speech so that people didn't have to listen long when they were tired or whether there was some sense that they went away with that they didn't get everything that they had mm -hmm. thought they would get. Mm -hmm. And fortunately, it was a small group. It's not going to get written up in the newspaper mm -hmm. or anything, but it did, you know, I did think about that and think, okay, mm -hmm. if I'm ever in that position in the future, will I do it the same thing or would I do it differently? What do you think are, was the best speech, or do you know one or two or three of the best speeches you ever gave? What made them so successful? You know, I, it's, hard, I, it's hard for me to tell. I was thinking about that um, kind of as I was getting my mind ready for talking to you, and I realized, you know, I don't know because, um, mm -hmm. uh, you know, is it the time when the most people said they liked my speech or what was it? But I know that there was one time at, a, at our convention, at the AFT Washington convention, when I gave a speech that I really got involved and passionate in, and a lot of people said afterwards that they really enjoyed that. Um, I thought it was a good speech, and I mm -hmm. think it was because I got, you know, mm -hmm. I, I always get uh, involved if I can. I've, I'm always ready to be involved in what mm -hmm. I'm saying, but it seems like there's a few times when you get even more involved or something else is pushing you, and it was a point, some points that I really wanted to make about the future and how we had to prepare for the future in certain specific ways. Mm -hmm. And I think that the, the feeling that I had about how important that was probably helped me, you know, make that speech a little bit better than mm -hmm. it had been. But sometimes mm -hmm. spontaneous speeches can work just as well because you've mm -hmm. mentioned the one time that you heard me speak in, um, mm -hmm. in that uh, conference or little workshop that we were mm -hmm. having at Shoreline. And I think at a time like mm -hmm. that, that, that what can make a huge difference is really knowing the subject that you're talking about mm -hmm. really, really well. Mm -hmm. So that just on the spur of the moment, I pulled those ideas together just because I understood them very mm -hmm. well and was mm -hmm. talking to an audience that I really enjoyed talking to. Mm -hmm. so.